In this video, I want to share with you a Christmas niche that I found that is starting to sell on Merch by Amazon and the massive day that I had on Etsy yesterday. Hello everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a full-time print-on-demand seller. I make YouTube videos showing you how to make more money on Merch by Amazon and Etsy. If you like this kind of content and you get any value out of this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, click the bell, and like the video. So first, I just want to apologize because I'm not in Mexico right now. I'm actually on vacation in California, so the audio quality might not be that good, so I apologize for that. I'm just going to try and talk louder or maybe just turn the volume up. Um, yeah, so I'm on vacation right now. It is cold, so I'm actually going to put my hoodie on, so I apologize again if I look a little unprofessional, but I actually have a little outdoor fireplace, which is kind of cool. <clears throat> I'm in Long Beach, California. Um, but let's go ahead and do a quick little sales update from yesterday. So it is currently Thanksgiving. Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. And it is 6.50 a.m. in the morning. Um, yesterday, I had a good day. I did 28 sales, um, $25. And today I have two sales at $14. I actually had a big sale yesterday. Someone bought 18 of one of my shirts, this one right here. You see $18. Um, so that was pretty cool. It was in the um, Christmas Cruise Niche 2023. And that was the niche that it was in. That is going to put me at just under $1,000 for the month. Tomorrow is Black Friday, so looking forward to that. That should be a big day. Um, just this whole weekend, actually, from now on, it's just going to be jamming. But what I also want to show you before I share with you that niche is this massive day that I had on Etsy yesterday. So if you're not selling on Etsy, I would recommend it. Etsy is actually where I make the most amount of money on all of my income streams. I have 17. I actually have a video. If I can remember, I'll try and put it up in the card showing you my 17 income streams. So if you want to like get some ideas on some other ways to make money online instead of Merch by Amazon, check out that video. But yesterday, we could see November 22nd, I had 14 sales and I did $774.00. In revenue now that's revenues that's not profit but you know I make around 30 to 35 percent so probably somewhere between like two hundred dollars two hundred fifty dollars which is great in profit um, and the reason why I had this big day is because I had this massive sale so right here we're gonna see I had one order for four hundred and seventy five dollars so I really just kind of just made it a big day so that was really cool hopefully we can or hopefully I can have more days like this so just want to share with you you know the possibilities of Etsy I'm going to be putting more Etsy content out on this channel so make sure to subscribe if you want to learn the niches that I'm in and the niches that I recommended to make money on uh, Etsy now let's go into the Christmas niche that I found that is starting to trend or that's starting to get some sales and it is this phrase right here that says have yourself a spooky little Christmas now we're going to see there's only 40 results for this phrase and a popular saying or things that you'll hear in the United States is people say have yourself a merry little Christmas so this is where this comes from but they're getting rid of the word merry and they're switching out with the word spooky and we all know that spooky is a very uh, trending uh, keyword or word in the United States especially during Halloween so I like the design because it's kind of like a cross niche of, you know spooky Christmas and instead of saying having yourself a merry little Christmas is having yourself a spooky little Christmas so this is what the design looks like um, we can see it was just uploaded like two days ago you know today's the 23rd you know this was uploaded two days ago already selling 734 uh, BSR and it's not in the climate pledge friendly category um, if we go and take a look at test to see if this is trademarked have yourself a spooky little Christmas hit enter we're gonna see that nothing pops up and when we go to the other print on demand platforms like Etsy, only 1400 results and pretty much all of these are like PNG files. I didn't really see anyone that actually says have yourself a spooky little Christmas that's on a physical product like a t-shirt or a sweatshirt. If we go to Redbubble, we're going to see what some of the uh, competition looks like, only 8 results. And when we go to Tee Public, I don't think anything is saying spooky, everything is just basically merry. Now one thing that I also want to show you is that if we go to Creative Fabrica, and we just search this phrase, have yourself a spooky Christmas, we're actually going to see the design that is selling on Amazon. So what this person did is they just took this design. Um, you can see that it comes with the print-on-demand special license right there. And they just took this and they just uploaded it onto Merch by Amazon. And that's pretty much been my strategy lately. Uh, that's how I've been getting a lot more sales because I can design, but I'm not the best designer. And that's why I like using Creative Fabrica because I just go into Creative Fabrica and I will just type in keywords. Christmas, 2024, cruise, um, you know, the uh, New Year's is coming up. We also got Valentine's Day, Mardi Gras, Spring Break. You know, I will just type in those type of keywords and I will find designs 
or I will find designs where I can add in like the word 2024 or the year 2024. And I'll just get my content or my designs from Creative Fabrica. And then I will just pop them on onto Merch by Amazon and I will get sales like this right here. Um, so that's kind of been my strategy lately. You know, you can copy my style and do the same thing. A lot of people I feel are kind of like a little paranoid about Creative Fabrica. They think that if you use the designs from Creative Fabrica, you're going to get your account in trouble. My theory is as long as you are uploading content that comes with the um, special license, print on demand special license, then you're fine. You know, if you just read Creative Fabrica's terms of service, you'll be able to see that if it comes with the POD special license, then you can use it for print on demand. Right here it says commercial and full POD usage allowed. All right, so just wanted to make this quick little video for you to get some content up. Um, make sure you guys don't forget about me. But here I am. I'm here in California. It's cold. I will be back on Saturday. Just wanted to wish you guys a uh, happy Thanksgiving. Hope you guys are doing good and you guys are enjoying this Q4. So that's going to be it for the video today. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, if you want to sign up for Creative, Creative Fabrica, I actually have an affiliate link in my description. It's in the POD tools. It is an affiliate link. So if you do sign up using my link, I do get a small commission. But I highly recommend Creative Fabrica. They have everything from fonts, graphics, um, AI, courses, and a whole POD section. And then if you want to learn how I make um, sales like this, on Merch by Amazon on a daily basis. And are for people that are struggling to get sales on Merch by Amazon. Uh, links are in the description. I'm not the best Merch by Amazon seller, but you can see here last month I did, uh, what was it, 1,500, and I'm almost already at 1,000. So if you're interested, links are in the description. That's going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.